name is Evelyn Carr, and I'm here to talk to you about fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia in Italy is not recognized by the state. It's not recognized by the health system. Doctors have no guidelines on how to treat the disease, and patients are left to their own destiny left in the hands of many times lots of charlatans. Uh, patients are told that it's all in their head. Patients have to take money out of their own pockets to pay for uh, anything to help them ease the pain. I am here to say that in a civilized world it is not possible that four million people and counting are left to their own destiny. I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia in 2011 after about five years of continuous decline in suffering and about two years of constant uh, going to doctors uh, trying to figure out what I had. First it started out as um, multiple chemical sensitivity, um, uh, then chronic fatigue syndrome, and then the diagnosis of fibromyalgia. I was told that there was no cure. I was told that the only thing open to me was a life of um, antidepressants and uh, muscle relaxers and cortisone and all sorts of other tremendous uh, situations, solutions that would have never brought about any real help to my situation. Uh, I got going, I got moving, and I created a um, protocol to cure myself. And in a record six months, I did cure myself. I'm a special case because before I got sick, I was a life coach, and I knew how my brain could um, capitalize on its potential how I could capitalize on my potential and get the best out of whatever I was doing and keep myself motivated and focused and uh, uh, positive enough to keep moving and keep going. And I studied thoroughly my disease. I started studied thoroughly my symptoms and I got a uh, protocol, which I am putting in this video. It's been on the uh, internet since I made it because I wanted it to be of use to everyone, but I hadn't put it in English yet. Sorry. Uh, I'm putting it in English now, and I'm hoping that this video will be passed um, outside of Italy so that everyone knows that in Italy people are suffering. People are left alone, and it is not possible that fibromyalgia patients are treated as Series C. Uh, patients. They're treated as um, crazy people. They're treated as um, th there's nothing wrong with them. These people are seriously suffering. These people are suffering from consequences. Uh, you have um, uh, shoulder problems, hip problems, stomach problems, um, seeing problems, dental problems. You have all sorts of problems with fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is a neurological disease that gives rheumatic um, symptoms. Um, it is absolutely paramount that doctors treat fibromyalgic patients with the, with the um, necessary respect because once fibromyalgic patients are listened to, that's part of the problem. That's part of the solution to the problem. So I am here to say that fibromyalgia in Italy has to be recognized by the state system. Enough is enough. Four million people cannot be left alone. It is not possible that people have to take um, medicine that is detrimental to them with doctors not giving them any sort of solution. That's their job. That's their responsibility. They have to treat fibromyalgic patients, they have to treat them with respect, and the change has to become, come about now. People, when they can't go to work, they don't get any sort of help. They 
um, can't even prove um, disability. They can't get any sort of recognition because the disease is not recognized in Italy. So, I am putting my uh, protocol on this disease. I hope it will help and change the face also as uh, it has in Italy in the past two years, two and a half, three years. Um, I'm hoping it will change the face also in uh, the rest of the world because I have absolutely honestly have to say that if um, that doctor had given me even a pseudo guideline to follow, I probably wouldn't have had the fire under my um, butt to uh, really find a cure for my disease. I did, and I'm in perfect health. Um, I never pull this out. This is my medal from Marathon, New York Marathon. I'm from New York. Medal from New York Marathon, which uh, was a great, great effort, but I did it. And I did it in the name of uh, the people in Italy who are suffering. They're my fiber brothers, and I'm working for them, and I need for people outside of Italy to know that Italian patients of fibromyalgia are left to their own destiny alone. They're suffering. No one's listening to, listening to them. And it is a crime. So, therefore, I hope that this video will um, help other people with uh, maybe some hints from my protocol. Um, obviously, I have to say that I'm not a doctor. I'm a life coach. I'm a life trainer. Uh, so. It's used, use my protocol as um, hints to go to maybe your doctor and uh, get some help if you don't know some things that maybe are on my protocol. Uh, it worked for me and maybe it can give you a little uh, of um, intuition on maybe what way you're going, you can go with your cures. I'm coaching my sister who lives in America and she's lost 120 pounds that difficult fiber of weight that it's so difficult to get off. My sister's lost 120 pounds. She used to go up the stairs on all fours. Now she's going up and down the stairs on her own. She walks on her own. She exercises. She goes to the gym. She goes to the pool. She's doing the sauna. Uh, she's gotten her life back and she's off the meds. She's off the meds. Um, things can be done. All over the world, things can be done for fiber patients. But right now, my point for this video is fibromyalgia in Italy must be recognized. It's a crime that it is not. All over the world, fibromyalgia is recognized. This has to happen now. Stop using fibromyalgia patients as guinea pigs for medicines that you just think, well, we'll just give them to the fiber patients, they won't say anything. What other uh, alternative do they have? Fibromyalgia must be recognized in Italy. I would like to send a big hug to um, fibromyalgic patients all over the world, and I would like to say that um, always believe, always believe that exists the possible in impossible. See it. It exists.